Yeah. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's Adini here again. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make your own crochet full locks at home using Brazilian wool. So the first thing I went ahead is to measure out my Brazilian wool and I am using seven strands of Brazilian wool for the first stage which you guys would be seeing now so the first thing you want to do is cross over your brazilian wool over the line that you're going to be using and you want to make sure that you twist your brazilian wool very well i'm trying to bring you guys closer so you can see so you're going to make sure that you twist it very well as you can see me do in the video so after twisting you're going to cross over like that and again now you divide into three parts so that you can braid so you're going to see the length of braid that you need to do so you're welcome to my channel if you're new i am adini i'm a content creator based in abuja nigeria i share air tutorials and how to make your own air to you know sp spend less and save more which is like the major goal on this channel so you just want to braid your brazilian wool just like that like very short like so and i'm going to just show you guys again in case you didn't get it from the first scrap if you're new on my channel please if you find this video helpful give it a thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section and i also have other informative videos that you would definitely like below you can take a time take your time to check it after watching this particular one so this is just me repeating the step as you guys saw me do earlier and that is just it make sure you twist because the twisting is actually you creating the loop that you're going to use in attaching or in crocheting this four locks to your a whether your break whether con row or single do you understand exactly so that is just what you want to basically do it doesn't have to rhyme the length of the braid that you're doing doesn't have to rhyme all through but you just want to make sure that it's something long enough from your twist that your twist doesn't get unravel this is just me showing you guys the third time because i heard is it three times a, a charm or I don't, I don't know i honestly don't know i'm just trying to show you guys again in case you didn't get the first two tutorial as i showed you guys earlier and we'll move to the next step after this one So as you guys can see the, for the second stage i'm taking three strands of brazilian wool and i'm using it to wrap around the braid that i had made so you want to make sure that you're starting the wrapping from where the braid is starting i'm going to try and zoom in so you guys would see after this clip which I actually did so you want to make sure you're wrapping from where the braid is starting from if you see closely you will see that i did not wrap the part that i twisted because if you wrap the part that you twist that means you're covering the loop that you had created for your crochet do you understand so you just want to make sure that you wrap you keep on wrapping and you're wrapping it close to each other and as you can see that i am wrapping and moving my thumb and my index finger down just as you guys are saying so you it's going to make the movement of your wrapping very very close to each other you don't want to leave space between your wrapping because it would unravel if you leave any space between it so basically this is just me still continuing wrapping and bringing you guys closer so that you can see what i am doing if you're new on my channel and you're not yet subscribed to this channel please subscribe please subscribe you're trying to eat 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year and i'm so grateful for my current 
subscribers i'm so grateful to you guys i want to say a very very big thank you to you guys for supporting this channel like you guys are you guys are the best you guys are so sweet you guys are the best so please if you're new and you're not yet subscribed kindly click the subscribe button join this family i post videos on wednesdays and sundays and if there's anything you would like me to post or any tutorial you would like me to share or give more insights on please do well to drop it in the comment section and also always take a minute to check my description box i would always leave um helpful and related videos i actually have a video of how to make butterfly cr butterfly crochet so now i'm going to show you guys how to add more seeing that the first one i was using to wrap has finished and i had not got into my desired length so what i went ahead to do is to take another strand of my brazilian wool and just continue wrapping like an inch above where the previous one stopped you guys understand you're taking another strand of wool like another same strand of uh, another same number of strand of wool and you start wrapping from where the brazilian wool like an inch above where the brazilian wool finished and this is just me securing the tip of my knot what i went ahead to do is to tie the tie a knot twice then i now you guys just look just look closely what i did and i would also still show it again i'm just trying to make sure that it is well secured and i'll still show you guys again after this step how to actually perfectly secure your crochet forelock so like I was saying, I have another tutorial on how to create um, your own crochet butterfly locks. Butterfly locks. Yes, I have another tutorial in, on, on that. And I will have a link in the description and I will also share the link up in this video. And that video has a lot of views, like over 10,000 views. So that means it is definitely, definitely useful. So if you finish watching this one please take a minute to watch that one i'm going to leave you guys to continue watching and i'll back for this third step of this tutorial So now I am done and this is what it is currently looking like and one reason why I really like Brazilian wool is the shine like Brazilian wool will always shine without you like applying anything it looks so nice and very very neat I like it so much and this is just what it looks like I didn't trim off anything 
on the body this is what it looks like so for the next step you want to make sure that you use a lighter to burn the tip of your crochet forelock so this is actually just to perfectly secure the end and i would want to say that when you're doing this please be very 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 careful to avoid you getting born okay we are trying to save money not to get born so i just went ahead to uh, bond the tip to help me secure the tip and in this video i have 18 strands and i actually used two packs of two and a half pack of brazilian wool so depending on the length you want to do because i have questions from my old videos that people will ask me how many extension will i use how many wool will i use it all depends on the length you are trying to achieve if you are going for a length longer than what i did in this video you will definitely definitely use more brazilian wool if you are going for a size bigger than what i did in this video you will use more brazilian wool so you just want to make sure that you know what you want and this is what it is looking like and as you guys can see the loop that we created from twisting it which will make your crochet very easy do you guys understand i know you do if you have any question please feel free to drop it in the comment section i always always reply to all my questions thank you and i'll see you in my next one bye and please, please do not forget to subscribe and watch one more video before going.